Among Us Chalk Pastel Space Drawing. Materials needed. White paper, black paper, white paint, sharpie, chalk pastels, scissors, glue, paintbrush, and some hairspray. First step, pour some water in a bowl with some white paint. Mix it up with a paintbrush, making sure that it's the consistency of like a thick milk or maybe a smoothie. So you're going to mix it up, then, there we go, take some off, then with your finger you're going to rub it against the bristles, flicking it onto the paper, making sure you get some great splatters. Try to spread out the splatter paint so that it's not all in one spot or in the same spot. And this is going to be really cool because now that you know this trick, you can use it on any artwork. Imagine a piece of artwork with like a bunch of different splatter paint colors. How gorgeous would that be? Then you're going to let that dry. While it's drying, you're going to take some different shapes or different size circles to trace. I have a cup here and I'm going to trace some of these circles in this size. I'm going to thicken the black sharpie line and I'm going to make sure that later I have different sizes of circles and if you don't have anything to trace you can totally freehand those circles. Nothing you can't do. With chalk pastel or sidewalk chalk, whichever you have, you're going to do some blending. So what I did was I put a light color down first, fill it almost all the way. Then I'm going to take a darker color, so for orange, or for yellow, orange is a little bit darker, or a shade darker. I'm going to take orange, and then I'm going to take a light color and go on to the left side. Then, with a paper towel, I'm going to blend it in. I tried different ways. See, here I did from dark to light, which works. But I also found out if you go light to dark, it looks even better. You get more of a highlight on the left side of your planet. So go ahead and do that for all of your circles, no matter how many you made, just go ahead and do that. It would look really cool to have varying colors. So the paper towel helps because it protects your finger from any smudges and it also um, blends smoother than just your finger does. As you can see here, I took some white to add more of a highlight onto the left side of my planet. Go ahead and you can add some white too to your planet to help bring more of a highlight, which is a reflection of the sun or a light source onto your um, circles. This will help make your circles look more three-dimensional. Here I go drawing a bigger circle. This is going to be my sun. It's really great to add the sun in there because oh, if you know anything about um, space, the sun is the largest star in the galaxy. So I made the sun with some yellow, rub it in, then I'm going to go in with some light orange and go around the outside. This is a great time for you to experiment with color. You can always test out, see what colors look best. If you don't like it, all you have to do is make a new circle and try a different method or a different way to do it. You're never stuck with what you start. You can always redo it or try again. Here I'm taking my chalk pastel and giving my planet some texture. I don't believe that all planets are very smooth. There's craters, there are some, some um, shadows on the planet, so you're going to go in and add some colors. Look, I made some splotches of dark color and then added some light white on there. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to blend it in. Now, if you prefer to use the paper towel, go for it. I just 
think I got lazy here and decided to just use my finger instead of the paper towel. But if you do use your finger, make sure you clean off your finger before you try to um, do a different planet or a different color. You don't want to get some blues on some yellows. It's going to turn brown. So go ahead, add some texture to your planets with those chalk pastels. Okay, so the next step is to take some spray sealer. I found this Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer, or you can totally use hairspray. All art teachers use hairspray if they don't want to spend money on the, the other stuff. So this can be found at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, or you could just use the hairspray. I just didn't have any at school. So go ahead and spray down anything that has chalk. Make sure you don't put too much and make sure that you get the whole thing or the chalk's gonna come off on your fingers when you put it on to the black paper. All right, go ahead. So now it's time to cut out your planets after your sealant has um, dried. Don't do it when it's wet. You don't want to get sticky fingers or you don't want to lose any of your chalk off of the circles. So wait for it to dry and then cut out all of your planets, making sure you get all the way to that black Sharpie line. Oh, they look so much better when they don't have the little chalk dust on the white paper around it. Uh, you guys are going to love what this looks like in a few minutes. Now that the black paper is dry and your planets are cut out and sprayed down, go ahead and organize how you would like them on your paper, your planets, and then glue them down. Dot that, not a lot, because we do not want a bunch of random glue hanging around our paper. With black chalk pastels, you're going to add some shadows to your planet. Now, if the sun is coming from the left side, the shadow is going to have to be on the right side of each of your circle planets. So go ahead and add like a C shape, a backward, backward C shape of black, and then rub it in with your finger or a paper towel. Now, less is more. If you have too much, it's not going to be able to be taken away. So make sure that you start with a little bit and then add more as you go along.
you are finished. Now that you're finished, I want you to go ahead and subscribe and like to this video. Share with all your friends and family, and I'll see you next time.